All right, guys, we're in Comic Con 2024, and we're gonna today we're gonna go check out some comic books. So come with me. Let's go. <laughs> comic Link, the auction house is here, and they usually have some great original art and some great old school Golden Age comics. Let's check out the case. Let's see what's in this case here. All right, got the first Punisher. They got Fantastic Four. They got a, a Superman. Look at that. Whoa. And they have Batman. Oh, that's classic, right? Green Lantern. Right? Some great old school books. And they have some original artwork on the side here in the case. Stop it. And original artwork is all over this show. Original artwork is everywhere. I think it is really having its day. Isn't it? Here's a cool Dazzler, huh? And look at all these back issues. It's a trap! This is what, Harley Yee's booth? And they are rearranging some of the books. Let's go, bub. He wants to put one front and center. He doesn't want it hidden in the back. They're moving a book. And I'm seeing lots of raw books, lots of back issues. People really showcasing back issues. And uh, they have, there's a lot of wall books, but maybe not so many slabs. I don't know. There's not, it doesn't seem to be so many slabs being showcased at the show. There's tons of back issues, man. Look at this. This is Victory Comics. They always have a great, like, they buy up, like, four booth spaces. And they have tons of back issues here. And they have little boxes, like, you know, five for ten bucks or, you know, three for five bucks. It's a trap! You can just dive through these all day. It's a lot of fun, right, that they would take the time and the space to allocate towards fun back issues. Which a lot of people are kind of maybe, uh, don't want to spend the money on, uh... Maybe low return comics. But these are $3 each. $3 each. Some cool books in here. Victory Comics, man. Give a shout out. They're always representing with the back issues. And like I said, I, have, I didn't see so many slabs this show. But original artwork and raw books are just everywhere. And con Comic-Con exclusives. Look at this. Elite Comics. Comic-Con exclusives are everywhere. Here is a YouTuber right here, right? This is the Very Gary booth. He's got a cool looking booth, right? Very simple. He's got some back issues out front there. And he's got other YouTubers helping him, I think. I think, uh, what, Erod212 was in there and some other guys. And we'll skim through some of his books. Like and subscribe. It helps out the channel. Ring that little bell. It'll notify you when I upload new videos. And Elite Comics has tons of uh, comic book exclusives. But there's just there's so many of them, and so many foils. I think there was 366 comic New York Comic Con exclusives. So, I'm, I don't know, is it exclusive when it's that many? And uh, none of them are for cover price. They're all uh, right out of the gate. They're all, you know, 20, 30, 50, 100. And here is some more original artwork here on the left. Original artwork is just everywhere. There is like 15 booths of original artwork. And uh, this guy's going through some of the pieces here for sale. Very cool, right? You go through the folders. But this is really having its day, right? Original artwork. It's getting more and more popular. And there's like 15 of these booths. And there's about 15 booths with uh, New York Comic Con exclusives. So if you add those two up, original artwork and exclusive books, there's probably more booths than regular comic book dealers. These guys are all always here. The uh, awesome collectibles. I think they're at a, I think they're at Queens Warehouse. I'm not sure if it's a store. I think you have to call for hours. Here is Comic Book Station in north of Brooklyn, right? They are in uh, Greenpoint or Williamsburg or right on the border of one of those two. And we got some more books here. I try to give a shout out if they hold up a sign. I didn't see a sign on that. Uh, I, don't know, that I guess that was just like a dealer. More back issues here. And more original artwork. Another section of original artwork. It is. I mean, there's got to be 15 booths of like original artwork. Why so serious? And here is more original artwork here on the backside. And going through, you, you own one of one. It's an original. And here is a whole section here of New York Comic Con exclusives. More exclusives? It's a trap! If you add up original artwork and exclusives, like I said, there's probably more of those booths than traditional comic book booths. And they got uh, Biggie Smalls and Tupac. Some hip-hop covers there. I mean, I guess people are just buying for the cover. They're buying the covers. 
and none of them are cover price. They're all uh, right out of the gate. They're all already 20, 30, 50, 100. Uh, that's not my thing. I like to buy books for uh, cover price. Here's more original artwork, and you own it one of one. You don't have to get it graded. You own the only one, so it doesn't matter the grade. It's an original. Pretty cool, right? Stop it. I think that will be the future. The future will be original artwork. will trump key comic books. His Royal Collectibles out of Queens, right? Forest Hills. I go there all the time. So uh, I think there's a backside, too. Eastside Comics is a backside to the Royal Collectibles booth. We'll take a look at it. Because they usually do two booths, but uh, front side and back side. Like on another aisle, so they cover two aisles. And they are doing the uh, back issues here. Look, tons of back issues. Lots of raw books. And they do have wall books. They do have some slabs up. But like I said, I'm not seeing a ton of slabs. They have a signage going on. They have a uh, comic book signage happening at Royal Collectibles. That seems to be very popular, si uh, having a live uh, signs, signatures. That was legitness. Here's another cool booth here. A lot of raw books, some wall books. Stop it. What was that, Yale's Comics? It looks like, uh, looks like he's a dealer, right? And we'll go down some of these aisles. We'll check out there's more um, exclusives here and sets. They have sets here and New York Comic Con exclusives. This is Spectral Comics. They have a big booth, right? Look at this. Look at the size of this. And we got some posters on the right here. And here's some Comic Con exclusive. All right, they have some cool sets here, but they got a lot of foils here. They got that Todd McFarlane Hulk book in foil. New York Foil Con. New York Foil Con. Foil Con. Get your foil on. They got Piggy Smalls. They got some Spider Man. They got Eminem. And foils are all over. I'm being blinded by the foil. Don't be rude. It's the 90s. Foil. The 90s. The 90s. Lenticular. Here's all their exclusives. They'll start crossing, crossing them out over the weekend as they start selling out. And they cross out the box that are sold out. I'll be back. And we got some, uh, we got some uh, reduced price manga. A whole box here of manga. And this is Zap Comics. Is this the best store in Jersey? That is the rumor that Zap Comics is one of the best shops in Jersey. And they have a big booth here, and they are swarmed. Stop it. They are being inundated with a fan base here. They have tons of long boxes out, lots of raw books here, 50% off, and they have some wall books. Very cool display, right? I'll be back. Look at them. It's swamped. And we have, uh, they do have some slabs here. But lots of long box hunting. Lots of long box digging. Yeah. All right, we'll check out this aisle here. We got, um, all right, here's a little signing on, this, on the left here. There's a signing. The X-Men 97, all the voice actors. All the voice actors take up this whole row, and you can get them to sign stuff. You want them to sign books or memorabilia or CDs. But X-Men 97, the, all the voice actors. Isn't that kind of cool? That animation was awesome this year, right? That was one of the biggest hits this year. DNA, right? The uh, variant cover artist had a little uh, section down there. I didn't go down there, though. Look at all those mystery boxes on the left. Look at all those mystery boxes. There's a whole row. It keeps going. Mystery boxes forever. Mystery boxes of Funko Pop, Marvel, uh, DC. They had statues, mystery boxes. Mystery boxes for everything. Whoa. It's a trap. Here's more exclusives here. New York Comic Con exclusives. These booths are everywhere. It is the coming trend. It's like a, a Department of Truth book there. And we got Collector Cave out of the Bronx, right? There's a shop in the Bronx. And supposedly they renovated the whole shop. So maybe I got to go check it out again. And they had mostly uh, action figures and statues and statuettes. We got some uh, more long box diving here. They had a whole box of blank covers. You saw that? St. Mark's Comics out of Brooklyn. 
right? They're in Sunset Park. They're in uh, that industrial park over there in Sunset. And to the right of them is another uh, vendor here. Oh, man, look at those long box digging going on. $7 a book. And they have some wall books behind us there. All right, I wanted to make a... Uh, here's more Neo Comic Con exclusives. I wanted to make a video just for comic books to separate stuff when I walk through. But I have two other videos. I had one on cosplay and one on Artist Alley, which is kind of cool. Check those out. This is the backside of Royal Collectibles. They took up the whole front and back of that shop. What is this? Reese's Comics over here? And Royal Collectibles out of uh, Forest Hills Cruise. I probably go there maybe once a month. It's kind of close to me. Somewhat close to me. But what, if I'm working, I'm always in the area. And I go over there and stop in. Get to the chopper! And they got some cool wall books, and they have a lot of raw long boxes. Silver Age Comics, a store out of Astoria. All right, a lot of local representation here, the shops. Let's check out Silver Age. And they have a beautiful wall. Look at all those wall books. And they have tons of back issues. And we have a YouTuber here, right? There's a YouTuber in the corner here. This is... Um, Don't be rude. He always helps out Silver Age. I think his family uh, members own Silver Age in New York, but I think he's from Washington, right? Is that Silver Age Guru? He's on the Comic Tom uh, uh, YouTube. And he's got a golden sweater on. Is, that, is he saying that he's golden? He's saying Golden Age Guru is golden. And I guess they leave him to price the books. They trust him over there. Price the Golden Age books because it gets hairy over there. FBI, open up! All right, let's look at all these mystery boxes. Look at this. Rows and rows of mystery boxes. It's crazy, right? Ah, oh, here's Bulletproof out of Brooklyn. And they are having a, uh, a signage right here. They are having a... You can come over and get your book signed. And they also have their prints out. He has a Gabriel Delato prints. Look at all the prints he's got hanging up here. And they're having book signings. And in the back is Hank. There's Hank in the back. Giving us a wave. He is busy working his capitalism, selling the books. And we got more shops here. I hope you guys enjoyed that little walkthrough. I wanted to show you some comic books. It is Comic-Con, so we should be looking at comic books. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know if I missed anything. Or if I didn't give you a shout out, I missed your booth. And thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. It's a trap!